Hey everybody, it's Billy Watkins with The Whole Package by Premier Packaging. Uh, my guest today is Tabitha Lazan. You got it. Which is lovely. I Thank love, you. I love saying your last name. Now that I know how to pronounce it. It does. <laughs> Lazan. What is it? Where is that from? It's French. Is, it's French. Mm. Very nice. I like it. Um, you are Premier Senior Corporate Event Coordinator. That's right. Yes. Um, you, are, you are the person that handles all the details, big and small, uh, for our events ranging from international sales meetings in far off cities to tree plantings right here at our headquarters. That's right. And um, you all just all had a tree planting. We did on uh, Halloween. So. Uh, is it like we've had two now, at least locally, yes, right? Yes, yes. So last year we did one. Um, we planted some trees at our headquarters and our manufacturing plant in Louisville, and then this time we planted some trees um, in the area. Uh, and I've heard uh, the, the folks that have done it, I've gotten very good feedback. It's uh, it, like everyone had a good time. Doing yeah, it. it's a great event. You get to meet um, people from manufacturing, distribution. We had um, some of our sales members there, so everyone kind of gets together and spends some time beautifying the the um, uh, community here. Yeah. So it's nice. Giving back. Um, That's right. So, you know, before we uh, before we talk about uh, the event coordination and, and more of what you do, uh, tell us about yourself. Yeah. Where yeah. are you from? So I'm from here. Yep. Born and raised. Louisville um, native. Louisville, Kentucky. Yep. Yes. Um, I went to <laughs> college in Bowling Green. Mm -hmm. So I lived in Bowling Green, Kentucky for four years and Beautiful came city. right back home. It Beautiful is. Beautiful campus. Great. Yeah. Big hill. Yes. You had to walk. You have to walk up a hill. Yeah, I had uh, some strong calves. Because it was, when I, it was, all the all the freshman dorms were at the bottom of the hill, and mm -hmm. all the classes were at top. And yeah, that's not, right. I yeah. lived freshman year. I lived at PFT, which was the tower at the yes, very bottom. Yes, the big one. It was one. on the eleventh floor. Lived there all freshman year and had to walk my first class. Do you have a lot of fire alarms at the? <laughs> so we did. Yeah. And one of which uh, we had a actual fire. Someone. Well, good. Caught the kitchen on fire on the eighth floor, I believe, and it was like ten at night. I was in the mm -hmm. shower, yeah, and the alarm goes off. Yep. So imagine the frantic energy there. And then the eleventh floor, and you <laughs> yeah. got to take the stairs all the way down the stairs. Yeah. Yep. Ugh. Yep. Shampoo in my hair and all. So that was <laughs> that was exciting. <laughs> what was your degree in, Tabitha? My degree was in hospitality management. So funny enough, I switched my degree four times, or my major. I switched my major four. Four times, which is not. I didn't know what know, I wanted not, to do. Uh, not unheard of. And oh it's not, no, I mean, not at all. We're just kids at that point. What the hell exactly. do you know what yeah. you want to do with your life? Yeah, so fresh out of high school, I had no idea. Why lock into something? <laughs> yeah, you know, play the field a little bit. Exactly. See what you like, and exactly. you uh, you hooked into hospitality management. Yeah, I was uh, at the time I was in a sorority, and one of my sorority sisters was actually in the major, and we were talking, and I really enjoyed planning events for my sorority. I did a lot of the recruitment events and. Right. Um, stuff like that and so she was like you know you should really look into hospitality management and maybe get into event planning so I started doing that and the first uh, first course I took was hospitality management 101 and I got a hundred percent on my test and I was like okay great okay, I guess. here we go this is what uh, I'm it's doing meant to be yeah were you always uh, uh, even before college were you always kind of one of those kids that um, <laughs> that that uh, you know pushed the group a certain way, and you know Barbie's gonna uh, uh, marry Ken over here, and yeah. all of that. You know, I'm reading this yeah. stuff. But, uh, so. You know, I'm I'm pretty much a, I was a natural born leader, so I did kind of like to take charge. Yeah. I remember me and my sisters, I have three older sisters, and we used to dress up as the Spice Girls, <laughs> and I would cause a huge fit if I didn't get Posh Spice. Like, you had I had to be, to be posh. posh Spice. There was no other option. We would play Scooby Doo, and I had to be. Yeah, because I think there's had a, to be Daphne. I don't know all of the Spice Girls, but I think there were a couple of Spice Girls nobody would probably want to be, right? With, a little uh, bit. I loved them all, but. Did you? Okay. Yeah. But baby my sister, Spice. Was there a Baby Spice? <laughs> yeah. I don't my, think anybody sister, would want to be Baby yeah, Spice. My sister actually loved Baby she Spice. She loved. Okay. Yeah. So it worked out. It worked out. And who did you want to be? Uh, Posh Scooby Spice. Doo? Scooby Doo. Oh, no. Uh, uh, Daphne. Daphne. Yeah. Daphne. Okay. And Daphne Obviously. was the one with the long hair and mm -hmm. the purple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I ever played Scooby Doo, who I would want to be. Uh, probably sh Shaggy. Shaggy, that's shaggy. a good one. I feel like yeah. Z or the dog, or <laughs> Zoinks. You know, Zo who said Scooby. Zoinks? Who said Zoinks? Uh, Did Velma? I think Velma might have. Honestly, I don't know. 
Uh, <laughs> I have to brush up on our Scooby Doo. <laughs> I'm all over the place here, and I apologize. Um, but you had uh, you had two internships yep. uh, out of college. Where where were they? What were so you doing? my first internship was actually I came back to Louisville for the summer, and I interned at the Kentucky Derby Museum. Oh, that had to be fun. Yeah, yeah it was awesome. Um, I learned a lot about horses, <laughs> a lot more than I ever thought I would, right. and a lot about bourbon. Um, so I had a great time. I worked events that ranged from 20 guests all the way to 700 guests. Um, so I learned a lot that summer. I mean, everything happens there. You have corporate yeah. events there. People oh, yeah. get married there. Uh, yep. Rehearsal dinners there. Exactly. Everything. Every time, uh, no matter how many times I've been, every time I go there and they do the, the theater in, a round, in the round yeah. thing, I mean, man, it, it brings a tear to your eye. Every it's time amazing. I see it, it's amazing. We actually did an ISM. We held international sales meeting we held in Louisville this year. Okay. And we actually had our award ceremony at the Derby Museum. So the team all around you know the world got to see you know how important the derby is for louisville and locals and i think it really really hit home for a lot of our team members and, and that's what we uh or what we were just talking about with them being international sales meetings we mm -hmm. have we have folks coming in from uh, around uh from other nations from yeah. mexico from canada so, yeah, yeah it's amazing we love we love having our team all around you know our mexico team our canada team come here and getting everybody together it's probably one of my favorite events that we do what uh you also worked uh, you also worked at a place uh, around fourth street live which is kind <laughs> of a local a local i always get mad when i'm on uh, a plane or traveling and and uh uh I, I make it a point not to talk to anyone on a plane, and uh, <laughs> but everybody else is, you know, just chatting it up. Mm -hmm. And if you've got, you know, people visiting from other uh, places, and they're like, oh well, what do I do in town? And, oh, and people always say go to Fourth Street Live, and that, you know, I guess why not? That's it's, not what I would recommend. That's not what I would <laughs> recommend. I always want to interrupt and say, don't do that. But yeah, no, yeah. But you exactly. worked at a you worked at a bourbon place down there, right? Yeah, it was a restaurant called Bourbon Roll. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, it's no longer, no longer around. with us. Yeah. Uh, but that was one of my that was actually my first big girl job out of college. Um, I was their event coordinator, so I did all of their events and I did a lot of their marketing, and I, I learned a lot there. I will I will say. Uh, so from both jobs, you learned things that you have brought with you. Oh yeah, uh, and I think. Here. Everything I've done has been super different, um, different sides of the industry, which has been cool. Um, I got to manage in the restaurant. I feel like I got a lot of confidence with that job and learned a lot of managerial skills that I've been able to bring to Premier. So, uh, you came here in 2021. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I have. Uh, it seems like since, you know, since COVID and everything, I have no. I have no. Uh, uh, idea of time frames anymore everything's been erased from my memory so but i just yeah. uh you've been uh you've been nice enough to be like a live studio audience to a lot of our podcasts since yeah. you've gotten here or since you got here i mean mm -hmm. you've always you've always kind of been around um so thank you for that of course yeah you do a great job and i love um uh, seeing all <laughs> um, but coming from where coming from the places you came from what brought you here how the heck did you yeah. So funny story. Um, in 2020, obviously the restaurant shut down, so I lost my job. I was on unemployment. Um, I had a few people in my life that I knew had worked at Premier, and I've always heard good things. It seemed like a great company, family-oriented, something I was looking for at the time. I wanted to get more into corporate events and specifically work for one place. Um, so lost my job on unemployment the day the restaurant shut down. I got on LinkedIn. And the first job I saw was the premier packaging event coordinator. Wow. So obviously applied and then they ended up taking the position down because they didn't need it. You couldn't plan events during COVID. I right. mean, everything was right. limited. Um, so I got a job as a preschool teacher in the meantime. So I did that for a few months until premier called me and then interviewed and got the job. That is Here amazing. Um, <laughs> that's a good point. Now, had we, and to that point, we hadn't had one before, No, right? I'm so the first the... first ever event coordinator for Premier, which is a super, it's it's a really awesome opportunity. And But is it daunting uh, to, to plan things for a company this size and with this many locations? And, and you know, I mean, is it? it? To me, sometimes, yeah, it can be. The holiday party is, or the end of year celebration, right. as we changed it to. Um, that can be a little daunting because I have six parties to plan mm -hmm. for our employees on the same day at the same time across the country. Right. Um, but I think I've been prepared to handle those situations and this year is my third year. So 
I'm ready to rock and roll. What's, Get her done. What's the <laughs> What's the secret to event coordination? Doing it well. I think you got to stay <clears throat> calm. Mm-hmm. You need to stay organized. Um, make sure you're on top of your game, because anything can happen. You need to be prepared for the worst, and hope for the best. Do you uh, <laughs> Do you like? I mean, since you do this uh, uh, for a living, do you like to? In your in your downtime, do you like to have parties? Do you do you host parties? That's a good question. <laughs> um, actually, I'm like the designated party planner okay. of our group. So Everyone expects you to do it. Yeah, me and my uh, best friend Jules, we're we're kind of the designated party planners. I joke with her all the time. I'm like, maybe you need to switch your career because you're great at this too. Um, but yeah, I'm actually planning a birthday party for my friend tonight. So. <laughs> Oh, very nice. Mm-hmm. Hey, will, will it be in your home or? Uh... Um, it's gonna be at my friend's house. Okay. And it's Taylor Swift themed. So. Taylor Swift themed. <laughs> very nice. Is it? It's always nice to have it at somebody else's house too. Oh right? yeah, and then I don't have the to clean up. The cleanup is. Yeah. Um. <laughs> it, and I would assume that uh, doing it uh, at home, it, still stay calm. Right? Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a little better I, when I'm at home because I, I can be a little more relaxed. Right. I can have a beer and kick back, you right. know. <laughs> I mean, I, I like to cook and have people over, but then, yeah. but at a certain point, like I'm cooking and I'm, 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 I'm cooking and, and using wine and drinking. And, and then, mm. and then by the time people get there, like I'm under the couch and it doesn't yeah. matter. And You're not stressed out. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I don't know flow. if that makes me a good host is what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I don't, you know, and, and then people are waiting for food. <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't help. (laughs) I haven't finished what I was cooking. Uh, So part of your job is negotiating rates with hotels and other venues. I I need I need your help uh, for my job too. You need to get me into uh, better places. Uh, What's your negotiating style like? Are you are you a uh, iron fisted type of person, or kill them with kindness sort of thing? Not iron fisted at all. I definitely kill people with kindness. Uh, I like to develop a relationship with who I'm working with. and kind of, you know, we create a friendship and then it's, you know, you help us out and we can help you out. Mm -hmm. So I've kind of been successful in a lot of ways with using my my negotiation style in that. A pretty good lesson in life. I mean, we've all met the people that are, you know, that are kind of the, the, you know, not kill them with kindness. Exactly. Beat them with ugliness and meanness, but, you know, I guess. It's not me. (laughs) <laughs> I'm glad that's not you. Um, so many of our events uh, have a lot of moving parts. Um, and, and what's the, in thinking back since you've been here, what's the hardest or, or most difficult one that you've planned so far? Most challenging. I think the most challenging one for me was 2021 when I started. Okay. We did the holiday party and we did it on our manufacturing floor. And yeah. we had 400 people. <laughs> And so we had to set that up. Like, and it was at? Uh, it was at 3900. Yeah. Uh, my partner, with he gets the tables and chairs and the mm-hmm. linens. They were rolling tables in at like, I think it was 11 p.m. the night before the party. It is amazing because you're, you're doing it on a production floor, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So everybody's got to get involved, moving yeah. moving stuff out of the way, cleaning stuff up and getting getting... An exactly. area large enough for that many people. Yeah, I thought Jason Sinnott might have killed me that yeah. week. But <laughs> <laughs> he's great. I love working with mm-hmm. him. Um, we made it happen, and it was it was one of the most challenging, but one of the coolest because I'd never been able to do anything like host an event on a manufacturing floor. I was yeah. like, that, it was super interesting. And I went, it was great. It it's, went really well. Uh, it's always been one of the most special things I think mm-hmm. uh, that uh, about Premier uh, that they do that. And yeah. they put that amount of effort and 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 time and love into it. It, it, yeah. it shows, and and I think the employees appreciate it uh, greatly. It's oh, always a for sure. it's always a darn good meal. Yeah, no, it's great, and it's important to you know our employees do a lot for us, and especially during peak, they deserve to kick back and have a lunch and spend some time with each other. What's the uh, what's the event? And maybe it's the same thing. What's the event you're most proud of? that you have planned so far? I think the one I'm most proud of is we did the international sales meeting <laughs> my first year and it was in San Antonio. Yeah, hey, I was there. Yes, yes, Remember? we did the Red Carpet Podcast. That <laughs> event was awesome. It was, you know, <laughs> Nothing ever, through the roof. We did it, but I don't think it was, <laughs> yeah. I think later on it was, you know, we had bad <laughs> bad sound. <laughs> yeah. It was a, there was an audio issue and uh, they got rid of the footage mm-hmm. or something. Yeah, I lost, think. Lost, lost to the archives. Lost to To never time. be seen. <laughs> in our in our thirtieth anniversary or something, we'll bring that back yeah. for for the clip 
the clip show will yep. do that. And that's next year. We got that a was big that. year next year. <laughs> <coughs> oh, is it? Is it our 30th? Mm -hmm. I just was saying that. I don't. I didn't even yeah. know that. Okay. Yeah. So keep that in mind, team. That's neat. <laughs> uh, but I was there, and uh, I helped. I helped blow up balloons, if I oh, remember. Do yes. you remember that? Yes. I wasn't doing anything yes. else, so I was like, oh, I guess I'll blow up balloons. The balloon arch that had to be done. Mm -hmm. This hilarious Mallory was like, don't worry about the arch. It's okay. Like, we don't need it. And I was like, no. We bought the balloons. It's getting done. We're doing we did it. an arch. We did Th that the was lovely. Arch. It yeah, looked it's great. great. Hey, even if you're down to the wire, I always get it done. <laughs> uh, when? What time of year was that? Was it July or it was was March? It, was it March? That year. Yeah, it was okay. March. So it was nice. I mean, we were able to. It was. People were able to go to the pool. I just remember, or you know, as a word of advice, never, never wear a uh, velvet tuxedo jacket in Texas. <laughs> I think <laughs> yeah, it's a no. good. <laughs> I was a little. It was a little moist. Hey, you look great, though. The I mean, the time. theme was red My carpet. Buttons so. were popping everywhere. <laughs> um, <laughs> but thank you. So that's the one. That, and I, yeah, that's a that's a good one to be yeah, proud. Yeah, I had of, a lot of fun, and we. I think. there was a lot of elements that went into that, and. It was my little baby, so. <laughs> uh, there, there are two, there's a there's a couple of things on your LinkedIn profile, and by all means, check check out mine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like me. On. Anyway, uh, so bringing joy to our employees gives me the most satisfaction in what I do. Uh, that's one quote. And then, when you love what you do, each day doesn't feel like work. Enjoy life and put everything into your passion. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's pretty awesome by itself, but uh, you know you seem very passionate about what you do. You know how 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 did you get there? What did, you just. I think you know. This career has taught me a lot. I've grown a lot as an individual. Um, as I said previously, I've gotten a lot more confident in myself. I think it's helped me grow professionally and personally. Um, and personal growth is a huge value of personal value of mine. So it's important to always grow and move forward and. In this career, I've been able to do that. So, a, a good positive attitude to have. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You make me. Yeah. You make me feel good. Of course. Yeah. And you it's know. It's infectious. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad I can do that. <laughs> uh, what's What's next? What are we? What's next? Well, you've, we've got. You know, there's a holiday party coming yep. up, and the uh, end of year celebration is approaching very quickly. And so. there's always events to plan and coordinate. Yep. It never stops. But just, that's what I love about it. And just remember, stay <laughs> calm. Stay calm. Take a deep breath. Don't drink yourself under the couch exactly. before everybody shows up. <laughs> That's what I have to learn. Tabitha Lazan. Yes. Uh, it is so nice to talk to you. Thank yes, you for thank coming you. and being on this side of the camera and doing our little our little yeah. podcast today. Thank you for having me. It's been great. Appreciate it. Until next time, everybody. Uh, Tabitha Lazan, Billy Watkins, for the whole package by Premier Packaging. Bye, everybody. Do you have comments, questions, or ideas about this topic? If so, we'd like to hear from you. Please visit primpack.com slash podcast to let us know what you think. Thanks. Thanks.